With over a hundred features, the Notion Enhancer is one of the most powerful Notion add-ons that you can get to customize your Notion desktop app. And in this video series, I'm going to be walking you through every single one of these options so that you can decide which one is best suited for your needs. And trust me when I say this, but you'll be kicking yourself for not using the Notion Enhancer earlier because there are some absolute gems in here. And we're starting right now. Now let's move on to the custom insert section of the Notion Enhancer. Now in terms of customization, this particular section actually takes us further deeper into the customizability of the Notion Enhancer. And it's a little bit more hands-on than all of the other sections of the Notion Enhancer. And the reason being that within this section, you can actually, you can actually link files for additional small tweaks to the Notion desktop app. So let me go ahead and show you how you do that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll toggle this on. And what you'll see is that you're given the option to insert either a CSS insert, and you can go ahead and choose the file from your desktop. Or the second one is the client side JS insert. And again, you can click on this and select a file from your desktop and actually upload it into the Notion Enhancer. Now you might be wondering, where do I actually find these custom insert files? Or or you might get a little bit put off by this initially because you might think this is for people that actually know how to write CSS and JS type insert files. Now that's not the case at all. Dragon Walkie, when he actually developed this section, actually created a really helpful tweak section on the GitHub page. And you can get to that by simply clicking on this link. So let me just go ahead and do that. It should bring you onto this page. And if you scroll down, you can see that there are already pre-made CSS or JS files for all of these various additional customization options that you can simply go ahead and click into and then download onto your desktop and then upload it into your Notion Enhancer. In this particular video tutorial, I'm not going to go through every single one of these options, but I'm going to select two and that should give you enough understanding of how to actually use these tweaks. So if you wanted to go ahead and select any of the ones that I don't show you within this particular tutorial, then you can go ahead and do that in your own time. So the two that I'm going to select for this tutorial is the center align table column headers. And the second one I'm going to go through is the sticky table list row. So let's start off with the center align table column headers. So all you have to do is simply click on this. It should then bring you onto this page. And as you can see, it does actually give you a quick demonstration of what it's going to do to your Notion Enhancer before the tweak and then after the tweak. Again, this is really helpful. So you can see exactly what impact it's going to have on your actual Notion desktop app. This is the CSS that we're going to use. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this. Then we're simply going to open up a text editor. And the way we do that is by simply opening up the menu and then opening up a text file. And you can do that by going into Notepad. Once you've got your Notepad open, you can simply paste the text in there and then you can save the file. Instead of ending up with a .txt, I'm simply going to remove the .txt and change it into a .css and I'm going to go ahead and save this down and now let's go ahead and select the file you can see the option for that file so it's as simple as that trying to convert a .txt into a .css file so now I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and as you can see it has now got the .css file format which is the one that we need to actually upload into our Notion Enhancer so just before I actually relaunch the app to see what this is let me just quickly open up a table so we can see the difference between what it is now and what it becomes once we've actually applied this change. So I've just opened up my reading and learning resources database table and as you can see all of the column headers at the moment are all left aligned. So now let's go ahead and open up the Notion Enhancer. Let's relaunch the app. And there you go. As you can see, every single column header has now been center aligned. And that's exactly what that particular tweak was designed to do. So now let's go ahead and look at the second example. So I'm going to go back into the tweaks and then I'm going to scroll down until I find the sticky table list row. So once again, 
it gives you a bit of a view as to what it's going to do. So for all of your database tables, it's going to basically make the very top row sticky. So when you scroll all the way down your database table, you can still see the first row at the top of the screen. So a quick point to note, this only applies when you've got the full page database view, and it's not going to work when you've got inline databases. Please make sure that you read some of these descriptions because it tells you pretty much exactly what the code is designed to do. So again, there's another customizable option within this particular code. If you wanted to be able to specify which particular row you actually want to become sticky within your table, you can actually replace this part of the code with this code over here. We're not going to do that as part of this particular tutorial, but all that basically means is you go into the CSS code down here and then this bit over here where it says nth child2, you simply go ahead and replace this in your text file with that alternative code that Dragonwalkie has given us over here. So let's just go ahead and copy this CSS code into a new text file or you can actually open up the same text file, simply paste all the CSS in there and this time around you can go ahead and save as and you can go ahead and make sure that this is saved under a different file name and then the .css is already there so we're just going to go ahead and save this. Now I'm going to go back into my Notion app and then open up the Notion and open up the Notion Enhancer. Now I'm going to go ahead into the CSS insert and then open up the Notion Enhancer Tweak 2 which is the one that we just saved down and then click open. Now that we've got this file saved and relaunched the app. So as you can see, very top row, that's now become sticky and we're able to see it as we scroll down this particular database table. So just to give you an idea of what all of these different tweaks are, I'm just going to go through each of them briefly. So the first one is bigger icons in the calendar view. So let's go ahead and look at this. So as you can see, this is before the tweak. So the icon is quite small and then you can increase the icon size by applying this particular tweak. The next one is hide backlinks so as you can see on the top part of your notion page normally you have a backlink section so you can actually hide that completely by applying this particular tweak the next one is hide board view add a group so as you can see normally you would expect to see an add a group on the right hand side of your kanban view within your database but if you apply this particular tweak then you can hide that option completely the next tweak is hide board view hidden columns so as you can see normally when you're within the table you've got this hidden columns section but you can actually hide that by applying this particular tweak hide the calculations table row so as you can see at the bottom of every table within your notion database you will see a count or a calculations table you can actually go ahead and completely hide this if you apply this tweak hide the call out icon so as you can see you can actually go ahead and hide the icon that appears by default when you set up a call out code block within your notion page hide discussions so if you have any comments on the top of your page within your Notion, then this particular tweak will hide that. So you won't be able to see those comments at the top of the page. Hide the new board row. So normally within your database table, you have the option to add a new row at the bottom. This particular tweak hides that option. So you have a very clean view. Hide the new page icon. So on the bottom left hand corner of your Notion desktop app, you normally have a add new page button. So you can actually go ahead and completely remove that to give you a much more cleaner view user interface. Hide the new table row. So as you can see within every table in your Notion database you'll have the option to be able to add a new row at the bottom. Using this tweak you can actually completely remove that. Hide the plus table column. Again every time you have a database table within your Notion setup normally you have a plus icon on the right hand side to be able to add a new column. This particular tweak completely hides that so it gives you another clean interface. Hide the new gallery button. So when you have a database in a gallery view Normally you have this section where you can actually add another gallery to your database. So you can use this particular tweak to completely remove that. Left align images. So every time you add an image within your Notion page, normally they're all center aligned. You can use this particular tweak to left align them. Minify breadcrumbs and top bar buttons. So on the top of every single page in Notion, normally you have these breadcrumbs they can get quite long and take up a lot of space on the top part of your desktop app you can use this tweak to basically be able to minimize those so you end up with a lot more empty space on the top part of your notion desktop app remove arrows on linked pages and databases 
So as you can see, so normally when you have a linked database within your Notion setup, you can tell that it's a linked database or a page by the arrow icon that appears at the start of the word. You can actually go ahead and completely remove that to give you a much more cleaner look. Remove icons from table column headers. Normally you have icons by default for certain column names, for certain column headers within your Notion database. Now, if you don't want those to be appearing, then you can go ahead and use this tweak. So you'll end up with just the column header names without the icons. Remove type for command. So normally within your Notion page, whenever you're on a new row, it actually gives you this particular message and you can go ahead and remove that completely by using this particular tweak. So it gives you a very clean, sort of almost like a Microsoft Word type view. Remove decreasing side padding for board. So as you can see, normally when you set up a database table in your Notion setup, you have a lot of empty space on the left-hand side of the table itself. You can go ahead and use this tweak to completely remove that padding remove decreasing side padding for tables. So much like the database, you can go ahead and do the same thing for tables by removing all the empty space on the left-hand side. Scroll past the end of the page. So normally when you're in your Notion app, if you reach the end of the text on the page, it doesn't allow you to go any further below that point. So if you wanna be able to type down here, you almost have no option but to stick with this particular view. But if you wanted to be able to type down here and have this text further up, just like how it's shown in this page, you can actually use this tweak to allow you to be able to keep scrolling down, even though there is no longer any text down below. Shrink padding on code blocks. So when you have a code block within your Notion setup, normally before the first row and after the last row, you have a lot of padding that's given to the code block itself. You can go ahead and use this tweak to remove that completely. Smaller page icons. Just like the name suggests, if you have a page icon within your Notion setup, then you can go ahead and actually reduce the size of this so it ends up being alongside the name of the page as opposed to being on top. Smaller table column header icons. So within your Notion tables, normally when you have have these default column headers you end up with these checkbox icons or a clock icon you can actually use this particular tweak to actually reduce the size of those last but not least table columns below 100 pixels And there you have it guys. The question for you is, which one of these features in the Notion Enhancer did you find the most helpful? And if you weren't using the Notion Enhancer previous to watching this video, then let me know if this video helped convince you to actually start using it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And if there's any other videos that you want me to make, then please do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.